Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. Today we're going to jump in and we're actually going to play Andromeda. I already rolled the character, started an episode and of course I had my mic muted because I'm an idiot. But we're going to play Andromeda, we're going to jump on in and see how we go. I did tweak the Eternal Champions mod so that Eternal Champion bosses always drop an Eternal Heart. Just because I felt like last time we got really screwed over by the chest and there being a lot of Eternal bosses. So I feel like that's a good way to balance it out where we get... Um, some reward, but we're gonna jump in here as Andromeda, a character that I love, and honestly, I realize Gravity Shift is super good for, like, just getting us some other stuff. Ooh, shot, shot speed down might actually be okay. Oh, uh, we already have, like, really low shot speed. That's fine, then. Um, yeah, I think Super Bandage is gonna be super helpful. Super Bandage? More like super helpful. Um, yeah, we're gonna kind of need it. I don't know how we're gonna fare as Andromeda here with the, the potentially harder enemies and stuff like that. We'll have to see. I think characters that have a bit of a weaker start are going to get get hit pretty hard. They're going get, to get hit pretty hard by this. So we'll have to see how it goes. But like I said, I kind of like the extra difficulty anyways. It's going to make us struggle a little more, and I kind of think that's a little fun. But question of the day today. Question of the day today. I think I've asked a similar question before. But I will ask it again because there's always new people here. What's a modded character idea that you have in the back of your head that's just like floating around that you think would be really cool to see? I really want to see um, a character that's a little more centered around bombs, but one that isn't like ridiculously OP like all of the ones that currently exist. Like I really like the, um, the bomb character, Boom I think he's called, but he is really, really strong. It'd be nice to see a character centered around bombs and bomb damage that's a little less crazy. I I stopped there to use gravity shift and I just shouldn't have. I'm trying my best to like line up some shots on this guy, but he's actually really hard to hit. Oh, you pushed him into me. Oh my god. Having a hard time here. Having a very hard time. I'm trying to hit him desperately, but not going so well. This is a hard boss for us to play around with anyways. Really? You dodged every sink. What have I done here? How am I as bad at this game as I currently am? I'm messing up. I'm going to go regular path because I don't trust myself with alt path. Andromeda's hard enough as it is. At least early. We we have started with some very good items though. Um, creatine powder here is great. Okay, so we got ourselves our first eternal champion here. Okay, so it looks as if the, the Eternal Champion, for one, he leaves a creep trail, but also he seems to use his um, spew attack a little more often. Can I... Hey, can I get through that gap, please? Thank you. Okay, so he stops leaving the trail once he becomes his normal Eternal Champion guy. Okay, and we got a key from that guy as well. Nice. A little bit spicy, it is. We did get a Planetarium. Very nice. Um... Gives you the effect of a random planetarium item each um, floor. I'm actually going to say no to that. And we're going to take these, which are all unfortunately pretty trash. Um, why is it all slidey in here now? What the hell? I guess I take this. I'm not very happy with that. That wasn't very good. We don't even have any bombs right now, so that's not amazing. We'll have to see how this goes. That wasn't a great selection of items there. I was hoping for something with a little bit more oomph. But yeah, the Celestial Body it is good, but I don't really think it's what we need right now. Okay, I'm trying. I kind of need Fire Rate, I think. I'm trying to keep myself away from these fellas. I'm trying to get an advantage, but I'm, I'm just struggling. Has a chance to dig up a chest when used. We don't have an active right now, and I've, this has proven to me before to be pretty good, so I'm going to take it. It's only a chance. It's a little annoying we have no bombs right now. Being able to find our secret rooms and having no bombs is just kind of upsetting. Ooh, nice way to destroy poop here. That's really satisfying. Okay, found our second secret room as well. Dive through all of that. You missed, like, most of them, you fool. I don't know why, but I feel like Andromeda right now is a little harder than he used to be. I don't know, him starting... Is his stats different? I'm, I, I, maybe I'm just bad. I, I, I have to say, recently I've been playing really badly, so that would make sense. 
We've also got a bit of a hellish room here. A lot of annoying enemies. I think creatine powder, the damage from that is really helping us out. It's proving to be very good. Oh, come on now. Every single shot missed there. Oh, we got a Soul of the Forgotten there, which right now isn't all that useful, but if we keep that for a sack room, that can be pretty good. That guy's an Eternal Champion. I think he fires a try shot. More than a try shot. Oh my god, he fires a lot of shots. But, like I said, these guys do tend to drop pickups. I don't know if they always drop a key or if they drop random pickups or what. There's our first chest. Hey, look, it's a chest that we need a bomb for. That's funny, game, because, you know, I don't have any bombs. And I used it in a room where I can't conjoin it up with the secret room to get a double bomb payout. So if I only find one bomb, I have to choose. Fun. <laughs> I'm just really struggling right now. Tell you what, I've made a, a recent discovery that has um, that been quite a revelation to me. So you guys might remember a few days ago, I kind of spoke, I kind of asked a question about mental health and said that I was having some issues with anxiety myself. Um, and I have, uh, I have, I believe, figured out why. I'm not normally a person that suffers with it, so I've kind of figured out why. So, I think you guys will also remember that in a lot of my episodes, I have mentioned about me drinking a drink called Lucasade, which I, I get like the pink lemonade one. I really like it. And it's a sports drink, I know it's a sports drink, but for some weird reason, my brain never considered the fact that it has caffeine in it, and so I've just been drinking them all the time, alongside having energy drinks. Yeah, turns out they have a lot of caffeine in them, um, and I've been double dosing on caffeine, and I mean like, oh, this is so nice. Um, yeah, I've been like double dosing on caffeine for like a really long time. I've been drinking like one of these every day or other day, along with an energy drink for like three, maybe four months now. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'm just having an absolute caffeine overload and my heart is about to explode. So, yeah, I've stopped drinking those now. I found that out yesterday. It may seem really stupid to think, oh, well, why wouldn't a sports drink have caffeine? I don't know. I just, it's not labeled anywhere on the packaging. So, normally things that have caffeine in them prominently label it. So, I didn't really consider it. And yeah, it's got a lot in it. It's got like almost as much as an energy drink. So that's been uh, that's been messing me up, I think. And I think that's been like one of the major causes of the anxiety I've been having because I've been really jittery and jumpy and not getting enough sleep. Like my sleep schedule has been awful the past few months and I've been wondering why. Now I know exactly why, because I can't get to sleep because I have so much caffeine in my body all the time. And as well, normally when I drink energy drinks, I try to drink them very early in the day so they don't stop me from sleeping during the night. Whereas these Lucasids, I've actually been drinking more often late at night because that's just when I normally buy them. And yeah, it turns out that um, I've been having caffeine really close to going to bed and that's not been helping in any way, shape or form. So yeah, fuck me, I guess. It's, it's, been, a, it's been an interesting discovery. Make sure to check your drink contents, people. So don't drink too much caffeine. Like, I do have... Like, I do drink a lot of caffeine, so I must have a decently high tolerance anyways. But even still, like, I don't want to be putting that much caffeine in my body. It's not good for me. Not good for me at all. I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried about my heart, I'll be honest. I might go to the doctors and be like, Hey, I've been drinking a ridiculous amount of caffeine for like three months straight. I know that a lot of other people have had a lot more caffeine than that. But for me, it's like a lot more than I naturally would have, so I'm a little worried. I don't like I've not felt anything wrong with my heart or anything, but like you 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 can't help, dude. Can you stop spawning a billion babies? Like you can't help but be worried, though, can you? Like it's a very worrying thing. Okay, good. No eternal bosses thus far. By the way, attack flies are way more aggressive, you might notice. Um, luckily, obviously, they still have the same health, but they are coming out as strong and fast. Andromeda cannot hit this fly to save his darn life. It's very annoying. All the shots just keep going around them. I'm just trying to use the, the ones next to me to take out the flies. Like, the shots that are, like, directly on me. I also got a Lemmageddon Wisp, somehow. When did I get that? <laughs> Was that from using Gravity Shift in the item room or something? In the planetarium room, sorry. Probably. 
I don't even know what item it is. That's pretty good. That's a tears up. I don't think we'll take Devil Deal. I think we're going to go Angel. Um, and yeah, I think we're just going to move on down here. Move on down. Sadly, the bombs have been just not very good for us right now. Considering we're finding our secret room super easily here, that's a little bit depressing. But yeah, getting a fire rate up. Accuracy down just doesn't matter to us at all. Like, accuracy just doesn't even affect anything that we do. So, pretty happy about that. Oh, we've got Swarm. That's what it is. We had Swarm on our uh, on our last run, didn't we, I think? Interesting to have it again. The Swarm is back in town. Well, there goes Swarm. Can I have a bomb, please? Like, a single, a single little bomby wommy. Oh, look, another key. Oh, this is a... This is a rather treacherous room. Not only... Do we have an Eternal Champion Boil here? Which I think transformed from a regular enemy at one point, but we also have a normal champion. Okay, thank god for that bomb. That just like saved us like 10 minutes on this room. Look, a penny. That's not a bomb, it's a penny. Trinkets here. 10% uh, chance for room um, for the uh, chance for burners keys from chest tinted rocks and de destroyed machines. I don't think we need that. I'm going to try and do all the rooms I can here just to try and get some more bombs. I want as many room drops as we can get. Really, game. Really. That was a terrible eternal chest as well. This is just... This is just depressing right now. Game's been really mean to me. I'm having a really hard time hitting enemies as well. Alright, what we got here? I'm gonna gravity shift this and hope we get something good. Dude, what? I'm getting so unlucky with my gravity shifts right now. Come on. And... Another troll bomb. <laughs> Where's my actual bombs? Where's my items? Okay, this is a pretty bad run now. At this point, this is I'm, I'm officially stating this is a bad run. We need some stuff to make this pop. I'm sure to take the soul heart. I would like deep pockets. Yeah, whenever it gives us a troll bomb, that means it tried to spawn a bomb. But the bomb became a troll bomb. The sun? I guess I'll just use in here to try and kill you a little quicker. And it did. Good. Divorce papers. That's another fire rate up. Nice. We'll take that. I'm going to go do the, the other rooms in case we have a sack room here. I really need to take advantage of everything I can at this point. This is, yeah, this is just a bit depressing, though. There's, like, so many things we could be taking advantage of now, and the game's just, like, lol, no. Oh, God. They all became toxic. The bath boys. No room reward there. Looks like we're not going to get a sack room here, but... Actually, to be fair, we used a sun card. We should know there's no sack room. I did completely forget about that. Oh my god, look, it's a bomb. Oh my god, look, it's another bomb. Holy hell, they do exist. Bit of extra money. Ooh, potential for deep pockets here if we get another penny. We got potential. I swear, this room's so common, it's crazy. Um, we got the tinfoil hat here, which just says 109. Um, yeah, I'll just take that. Sorry, tinfoil hat. Okay, let's be gone. Yeah, I think there's some, there's some weird, 
broken stuff going on with some of my mods. I think second secret rooms are a bit balked. I feel like they are literally only ever that secret room, and I'm not sure why. Um, and some items just don't work. And some vanilla items just don't work. It's it, there's, there's some weird shenanigans going on. If anyone in the comments is, uh, is a modder that may have an inkling as to what the hell is going on, please do let me know. I... Honestly, not to be rude, but I kind of feel like, uh, oh my god. I kind of feel like Ipecac is at the s source of all of it. Because Ipecac's um, EID descriptions aren't working. And it's EID that broke the planetarium rerolls going on. I, I feel like something funky, something funky is going on with um, Ipecac. What in the life? That was scary. Do you know what? This is still scary. I, I don't know if I can kill all of these without getting hit. Okay, I managed it. It was a bit bit tricky, but... Yeah, I don't want to just blanket statement blame one mod. I'm sure it's multiple mods working in tandem to cause issues. But I feel like something with Ipecac has gone bad. I'll have to speak to some people. I need to speak to, like, Nevernim, because he only uses Ipecac, and he probably hasn't seen these issues. It'll be some weird compatibility issue. Okay, we do have an Eternal enemy there. I kind of want to leave the Eternal one to do his thing. Take care of everything else first. Man, why am I standing at such... Why am I standing at an angle to these bitches? This is the only way they can hit you. And I'm like, hmm, herder. How about I stand in the only place I can get hit? Also, he is spawning way too many of these fellas. I got hit way too much there. Whoa, what the hell? This isn't how you normally are, sirs. You need to be two left hands now. I might take the left hand because it might synergize nicely with our spacebar item. Little worried about my current HP now, though. I'm having such a hard time hitting things right now with Andromeda's Tears. They're doing some wacky stuff. Death? Nuns habit. I mean, we're getting hit a lot, so why not? <laughs> At this point. I'm going to gravity shift again. If I don't get an item, I'm going to be real upset. Bish. Okay, that's pretty good. This is this is kind of brutal. Why why am I getting so screwed over right now? Golden penny. That's the third item room in a row where I've got no item. Is that third or is it second? I, I don't remember. Still, it's more than it should be. And also, we still have no bombs. <laughs> this is just a bit of a savage run, this. We're having a really hard time. Good, good. Ooh, look, another key. Wouldn't want a bomb. Couldn't be me. Who would want a bomb at this hour? There's a bomb. If this is a closet room again, I need to go and check some stuff. Okay, this wasn't. Um, chance to teleport to Devil Deal when taking damage. Make member card shop your starting room. Mmm, <sighs> I think that's pretty good. Like, we don't have a lot of money right now, but there's potential. There is potential. We're switching around our trinket quite a lot this run. I'm still going to play out these rooms because I'm really hoping for more bombs so I can actually go to my secret rooms. Ow. Oh, just... 
just another key. I don't need fucking keys. Where did you come from? Man, where are the bombs? <laughs> okay, now I actually do kind of want keys because I want to get into that room and actually have one spare. Oh my god. It's been a stressful run so far. We are all aboard the struggle bus. You think you're so fucking funny, game. No bombs. And now, when I need keys, don't have any. Just screw you. Yeah, screw screw you, game. You're really you're really ticking me off right now. You're doing all in your power to screw me over. I don't get items. I don't get to open chests. Turtle doesn't get anything. Also, rooms like this. This is difficult. Luckily, I have a orbital of shots to protect me. I was really ready for this to be an eternal champion then. I, I was really ready. To be fair, without any bombs or anything, this is going to be a rough fight anyways. It's going to take some time. Oh, and there's some pooters back there as well that I can't hit. Oh, God. The stress is getting to me, people. I wanted a harder game, but this isn't the, this isn't right. I wanted harder boss patterns. Stronger enemies. I didn't want no keys or bombs ever. Calm down, you. Okay, that's a good damage up. Thank you. That's a tier it up. Okay. That's nice. But please, next floor, we're looking for bombs. We're looking for keys. Meat on sale. Thank you. Meat on sale when you're on the run. God damn. This has been a trip. At least now we just got a tears up and a damage up, which should help. What the hell hit me then? But to be fair, I might stars card after this room. Does this guy drop a... Yeah, he does drop a spider every time he regrows. An eternal chest. Ooh, baby. If only we had a key. I have to. This run is so trash right now. Send me to the moon. And by the moon, I mean Planetarium City. If you're wondering why I got all planetarium items, ask Ipecac. But this is far better than what we had before. I will say our fire rate is now pretty low. But we now have Saturnus helping us. Mercurius. And potentially good stuff. Terror, of course, is here. Terror is here to help. The Hermit, pop it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not ideal this reroll, but it is better than nothing. I will take you, but not yet, little ghosty boy. We 
We can get into our secret rooms now. Oh my god, terror. We no longer need bombs. We no longer need bombs. It's a miracle. Also, of course, I accidentally made a hearse there. But this is this is the true and Andromeda strategy. Go Andromeda and get every planetarium item. There is a champion dude here. Eternal champion. Send me. Game. You're evil. I mean, give me some items, please. What are the chances? What are the chances? I genuinely want to know. Like, is it like a 50% chance to not get an item? Because it seems higher. Ow. Okay, but now, now we need some actual normal items that aren't all planetarium items. To try and make some moves. Another chest there. This is an XL floor, right? Yes, it is. Okay. I thought it was because it was two item rooms, but I was like, hmm. The game's been really messy right now. It's been really strange. I have to at least try. Okay, you should die by a poison. Thank you for dying. Ooh, look, it's a bomb. Not that we need them anymore. Now, now that we now that we don't need them, the game's like, oh, I see. You wanted bombs. Ah. Here you go, sir. I'm liking all the charming that we're doing right now. You're a very charming person. Be careful with these fellas. Do you know what? Just get rid of all of these skulls in the middle. I don't care if it spawns hosts. Just do it. I'm so glad to have flight right now as well. Come on. Yeah, we need, we need like a, a normal damage up here. Is that an eternal burny? Yes, it is. That is a lot of burns you're firing right now, sir. There's a lot of burns. The hell card is that? Spawns a random friendly flesh monster. We got a boil. Honestly, not the best, but we got one. Oh, really? Troll bomb? Are you kidding me? I'm getting really confused because I have their uh, Spelunker's hat, which got that, uh, which got a buff where it shows you the the room ahead of you. But now I'm thinking I have some sort of mapping item, and it's really confusing me. Even though I don't. Uh, can you die? Wow, you've got a lot of health. The Bible. I don't really see any reason why I'd carry the Bible, I'll be honest. I kind of want to for some reason. Maybe just get to get an insta-kill on Mum. But yeah, it's not, not really the smartest decision, is it? Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. Where's our um, Soul of Forgotten gone? Did it get re? I think it got re-rolled. Is this an Eternal Monster or two? He looks, he looks white. I think it is, but I'm, I'm not really seeing what he's doing differently. No, I think it's just a champion. He's not doing anything differently, right? He does seem to have a lot more health, but then again, that might just be because my run's a bit trashier than I kind of assume that it is. Yeah, it's actually we're actually killing him reasonably quick here. Well, I mean, we'll know if he's eternal if he drops a soul heart, but I don't think he is. I think it's just how the champion version looks. And indeed it is. Stop giving me bombs from bombing chests. That's silly. Oh, no. Here's Eternal Mum. 
Are you spawning monsters? You sadist. They seem to have a very, very low health, though. I don't know what to expect from this, by the way. I'm... I'm just trucking through. It doesn't seem that much harder right now. She seems to be firing more shots and spawning monsters, but other than that, it seems mostly normal. Like, we're even killing her pretty quickly. Like, the, the foot feels like a, a slam of shots. Like, as, soon as, as long as we get, like, a big barrage of shots to hit at the same time, we're killing her pretty quick. There you go. That gave us an eternal heart as well, remember? We'll take this path. God damn, I'm stressed. I'm very stressed. Unfortunately, we still don't have any non-planetarium items. Um... And unfortunately, this has not been any use to us. We don't have any money. Yeah, we certainly need some extra damage. Should take that key because we are low on keys now. We've just been low on consumables this whole run. There's always been one consumable we have a major issue with. Oh my god, I can't even hit this guy. Ah! ah he's so frustrating, I can't hit him in the back of the head. It's Luigi, I just wanted to fire it. Luna gives me fire it and half a soul heart. For the rest of the floor at least. We definitely need the half soul hearts because I am getting hit a lot. See, the, the difficulty with these runs is I don't know how to thumbnail them anymore. Because <laughs> it's like, I can't just keep putting all the planetarium items in the thumbnail. That's going to get old. But it is, it is quite literally what happened. So it's like, I don't really know. Oh look, more bombs. That's my half soul heart, thank you. Just just use the charm. Honestly, the charm is keeping us alive from a lot of enemies. Matriarch here. The Matriarch does have boss armor now. So he might be a little trickier than normal. He's, he's definitely proving to be. I managed to get a bomb in there. I don't even know how. Gotta remember one great thing is bosses, uh, bombs always break boss armor. No matter how much boss armor they have, no matter what boss they are, whether it's modded or not, it's always going to break boss armor. So we can use bombs to kind of get around that. If a boss is being really difficult. Obviously we need the bombs to do so, but we can use, utilize that. Some HP. I, I, I do have to check the devil deal. I need something that's going to give me some stuff to go to, to go on here. And I think, honestly, that is good enough. It's not even that big of a damage upgrade, but we need something. I really should have used uh, utilized Luna there and gone to the extra secret rooms. Um, that's one heart container while held. That's really, really bad, but we're not getting any money, so I'm just going to take it. <laughs> it's literally one soul heart, but there you go. What we need is piercing. Piercing would be very nice right now. Unfortunately, I don't have any mapping anymore, so we don't know where our secret rooms are. I'm going to try and find them. Oh, a soul heart. A soul heart? Uh, a tinted rock, sorry. Take my money. 
Okay, nothing there. God damn, yeah, this has been a struggle bus. Struggle bus. This is like my unlucky run. And of course I spent all my money and now I get a beggar where the money would be fantastic. But yeah, we're looking for extra secret rooms for the extra fire rate, but also soul hearts. And then whatever the secret rooms may contain as well. Gotta remember the secret rooms themselves probably have some good stuff in them for us. Is that an eternal one of these? It is. Thank God we've got him charmed right now. A quarter? See, th this, this is kind of the play we needed right here. Play the hell out of this guy. Hopefully he pays out reasonably soon. He did. And then we re-roll it into something incredible, like Mega Mush. <laughs> Yay! We did it! Unfortunately, we don't have Andromeda sprites for this guy, but that's fine by me. Okay, you guys, you guys can do your own thing. Oh my god, no way. I'm going to have wasted Mega Mush here, aren't I? We went, like, all the wrong ways. Beautiful waste of Mega Mush. I really thought we were on the right path. Apparently not, and now I've wasted like half of my duration of this thing. Wait, more than half. I've wasted like the full duration of this thing. I thought I was going to have it for long enough to kill the boss at least. Not even close, baby. Oh, also, I'm a little bit dumb. I've just realized I'm a little bit dumb. First of all, give me that. But I need to go back and re-roll the, the shovel. Like, we, there's still a pedestal with an item on it. We can still re-roll it into something else. That was close. It's not over quite yet, ba baby. It's not over quite yet. We can still re-roll this bad boy. The Eternal D6 is an active item, but it is good. Rune bag? I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble, and we got Bingeta. There you go, beautiful. I gamble and I get something great like Bingeta. Quite beautiful indeed. All right, let's keep stomping. We used to have Nun's Habit. I was gonna say it's great that we have Nun's Habit. We don't have that anymore. Would be nice to have that back. Not that we super need it, but... Yeah, I think Binge Eater is gonna, gonna save us. Like, I know that we've not got that much of the run left. But I still think it's gonna be very good for us. This is Utero 2. Don't be Eternal Mum. Don't be Eternal Mum. Okay, you're not good. That would have been quite horrible. But, this is Boss Armor Mum, though, so... It's not like it's all hunky-dory. We still do have to deal with the fact that you have... Quite a significant amount of boss armor. In which we will utilize bombs to try and mitigate somewhat. Yeah, there's, look look how much damage that bomb did. That, that's going to be like one of the main tactics that we need to utilize. Which is good because it means that we are, now we should prioritize keeping bombs and utilizing them for the bosses whenever possible. Really? You're going to knock my bomb that far away? I got hit a lot there for no reason. Devil Deal. Okay, so Devil Deal is food, but we were going to lose HP on that because it's three hearts for one heart at the end of the day. Shot speed. Um, damage up and... Um, Shot speed, and then this one is tears up and shot speed. Now, I'll just leave both of them. It's too too big of a risk. Let's go. And then hopefully we can utilize Mega Mush to just speed through these floors. And we already know the direction of the fight. I'm going to try and save Mega Mush for when I need it. Like when we're near the boss. I don't want to just willy-nilly use it straight away.
Dude, come on, Ghost. You don't have that much health, do you? I'm not super convinced I'm not getting hit on this room. A lot of fire about. The wax boys are uh, doing their thing. Because apparently... Okay, how have you not expired yet? You've, you've fecked so much fire all over the place. Okay, so I'm glad. I'm glad that I did this, because now I know this is the wrong way. And I didn't use Mega Mush to find that out. I am getting hit a hell of a lot here. I do want to point that out, but... <laughs> Please. Please give us some HP. You didn't, you bastard. Okay, so now we use Mega Mush because we should be able to kill the rooms and get to the boss. Really? You protect even through Mega Mush? I didn't think that would be the case. And you can't crush Sternies? I'm surprised by some of this news. Soul Heart, that's very nice. Oh my god. Even with this, this is taking a really long time. We got him into second phase, but like, that just goes to show the sort of boss armor that we're dealing with on these endgame bosses. You can't just stomp them anymore. You've got to fight them. You really have to, like, really fight them. Which is good, and it's, it's also bad. It's, it's good because it makes the bosses more interesting. It's bad because we are already having kind of a rough run right here, where we have very little damage to go on. And it's kind of exacerbated by this boss taking a lot, lot longer. Okay, at least, like, the thing is, though, boss armor, the way it works, it's kind of like Gungeon, where it's not going to make it so we can't deal any damage, and it's not going to make it so weak runs are harder, because it's just going to cap out how much damage we can deal in one instance sort of thing. It's going to mean stuff like Mega Mush can't just insta-kill the boss. But it still does a lot of damage. Okay, we got him. We unlocked Crying Pebble. We can check out these. So I think we just take all the food. It's going to give us a good amount of HP and a good amount of stats. You're a bitch. You're a bit of a dick, adversary. You're a bit of a dick. I don't know if adversary gets any extra armor. Okay, okay. Then we get the full duration of this. Goddamn Blue Baby's armor's just crazy. Blue Baby could just eat damage. But we got him. He is complete. And we unlocked Gravity Shift. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. A very fun one. Very difficult. And I'll see you guys in the next one.